So this is where we've got the ferry from Newcastle, uh, in, now we're in the, here in the Netherlands. So I just thought I'd show you the bike fully loaded up, because I, I know I haven't shown that yet. These are just cheap panniers off AliExpress, not sure how long those are going to last. Um, but they seem okay so far. This side stand as well, that's another AliExpress special, um, which is definitely not strong enough for the amount of weight I've got on this bike. Uh, so I'm going to be away for a while, so you won't see many container videos coming up too soon. So I'm going to try and give people a feel for how much energy it uses to get around places. Because I know before I in installed this kit I just had no idea. So my battery is... I can get about one and a half kilowatt hours from the battery, so that's 1,500 watt hours. If you're new to batteries and things, I try and recommend using watt hours over amp hours, because amp hours is a bit, it's a bit of a strange measurement. It depends on the voltage, so it's, uh, it's not as accurate as the watt hours, which is a measure of energy. So I've used 121 and my efficiency is 5.1 um, watt hours per kilometre, which is pretty good. That's with uh, a low pedal assist and a very light pedalling. Not a lot of effort being put in by me so far. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can, you can see I've got 1,400 watt hours to use, so at this efficiency my range is going to be pretty insane. I mean, you can quite, even if, even if I'm absolutely full throttle, burning energy as fast as I can, it's very difficult for me to get that watt hours per kilometer over 15. I mean, I have done it briefly before, but I mean, it's still, it, it, you know, it makes you realize how efficient the bicycle is as a means of transport. Whereas you're talking about uh, an electric car, you know, Teslas are known for being efficient and that's, you're talking 250 watt hours per kilometer minimum, really. Um, up to, you know, 350 watt hours plus. So it does show you the difference. Um, I, I would like to solar power it as I've shown in my other video. Uh, I didn't have time to get it sorted before this trip so that'll have to be the next trip. Uh, unfortunately the weather's pretty good for solar power though. Like I say this is Emerjulden which is sort of the port town here in, in the Netherlands. To be honest not a lot to it really. It's like any port town I think. So yeah I'll uh, get back on the bike soon once we get a bit of shopping and then uh, we'll get on with our trip. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Alright, we're at the campsite in Amsterdam. So the tent's just set up under the tree, nice little spot. Um, and we've got one of these caravan adapters, so that's this thing here. So it goes caravan adapter to a Euro plug. I didn't want to get a British one because then I'd have to carry an adapter with me. Uh, then it plugs into the cable, the cable goes to the cycle charger and then obviously plugs into the battery. So, yeah, I thought I'd get one of those caravan sockets because you always see that kind of socket here on campsites. And uh, sure enough, it's coming pretty handy. So that means I'm gonna have a fully charged battery ready for tomorrow. All right then, next day of cycling. Uh, we're gonna do about 90 kilometers today, I think. I've already got uh, 10 kilometers on the clock without charging the battery, uh, but it should be fine. 100K should be no issue. Uh, glorious weather yet again, as you can see behind me, just leaving the campsite. Uh, it's going to be a good day. I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind. Just uh, leaving the... Um, well, we've left Amsterdam now, we've left the campsite, just on the road. Uh, I'll just show you my display quickly, you can see how much energy I've used and things. You can see I've used 144 watt hours, efficiency of 5.5 watt hours per kilometre. So when it comes to cycling, the Netherlands is kind of on a whole other level from any other country in the world. Pretty much every city centre outside any major supermarket, you've got these massive bike racks. Go on pretty much forever. 
Yeah, the infrastructure here is, uh, yeah, it's all about cycling. So we're just leaving the next campsite now. Uh, did about 120 kilometers yesterday, plus 10 kilometers riding around Amsterdam. Uh, it was pretty good, the battery lasted fine. I uh, probably had another 10 or 20% left, so that's pretty good. Uh, today we're heading towards a theme park, which is literally just down the road. So it's gonna be good. I haven't been on roller coasters and that for ages. Uh, let's navigate this puddle without getting wet. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Ugh. <laughs>